Ruger made. Marlin, 4570. Got the big boys. These are some barns. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm being yelled at and told to shoot my human silhouettes and not the big gong, so we're gonna try it out. Um, this is the barns. I think these are 300 grain. These are some serious hot points. But when I was sighting my gun in with it, it didn't like them that much. So we're gonna save our brass and get some hand load action going on. It only holds five. No, you add ammo in that box. No. We'll try the human silhouettes. Maybe try the mini mini plate. Also, these these new Rugers, I have a old Marlin in 3030. I'm I, it took me a minute to get used to it. This was the safety. Your hammer. Well, they have a push button safety on these now. That nobody seems to be talking about. I have fired it with the safety on twice. Human silhouettes. Let's try them out. We'll go for the right one. They make them ring. All right, we'll try the mini plate. <laughs> I can't do the mini plate. So what I'm noticing is the suppressor is getting so hot that it's fogging my scope up. Mini plate. But if I miss it, then I have to shoot again because it can't quit on a miss. Did I get it? <laughs> okay. Can't quit on a miss. We're not going to try the mini gong, though. We'll hit the big gong. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love this thing. All right, everybody. This is my Ruger made Marlin 4570 that I'm really excited about. Haven't shot it nearly enough yet, but I just wanted to do like a longer video on it and then we'll record some shorts for it too. Uh, anyway, quick rundown, bone stock, dead air primal. I had to get a, this is like a weird muzzle thread. It's like 11, 11 something or weird. But anyway, all the dead air adapters are sold out. So I ended up with a Rex Salentium direct thread adapter mount for the Primal. It kind of looks cool. It's like gold. Um, I did a little paracord rack because all the cool kids were doing it. 
and I just wanted to try it out. Um, and then on the top, we just have a SIG Tango uh, 1 to 8 by 24 in Coyote Tan with Badger Ordnance scope rings. Uh, other than that, here she is. I originally wanted to do so bad. I originally wanted to do the Ranger Point Precision stuff on this thing, and then I got it, and I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it to myself, and because this thing is just so pretty, just how it is. Now I feel like I need to get another lever gun, maybe like a pistol caliber le lever gun, and then I'll do like the Ranger Point stuff, especially now that I have the Primal. I mean, this is not that loud, but pistol caliber will be way quieter. Anyway, funny story about this thing because they are sold out everywhere. At least they were when I bought it, and I just randomly went into my local gun store, just looking around, just see if anything caught my eye and I asked the guy I said hey do you do you guys have any 45 70s and he goes actually yeah we got one in last night I was like all right yeah he pulls up a marlin box sets it on the counter and I'm like oh my god yep so opens the box up it's this Ruger marlin trapper in 45 70 guys I, I knew what I had to do. I knew what I had to do. So I bought it. I did have the strength to do it. And my wife was probably a little unhappy. Anyway, here she is. I'm in love. I just thought this was interesting. Uh, this is my human silhouette target. And you can see the, uh, these are the four, I guess four rounds I put on here. Um, and they were hollow points. You could see how the center, there's still paint around the center, which I thought was kind of funny. All right, everybody, so I was just curious. I came down here to look at the uh, the targets to see what it was looking like. But anyway, so that is the Ruger Marlin 4570. Um, I wanna start cooking up some hand loads for that thing, so that's partially why I shot that Barnes. I wanted to have some brass, because finding 4570 brass right now is actually kind of tough. So anyway, stay tuned. Um, we're gonna have some more 4570 content rolling out, and thanks for watching.